Hello and welcome to the Smart Excel. This video is all about data validations in forms. And uh, I'll be giving a glimpse of what is actually the video about. So I have a list of grocery items and in these items I would like to have subcategories. So when I calculate, I want I don't want to do this manually. So I would like to have a data validation and drop down. So when I select the main category, I would like to have a subcategory. So, so this will be in a simple form. I'll be showing you how to do. If there is a one word, and if you have the or two or more words or multiple words in a category, so these are all one-worded items. So, as you know, first of all, you have to create a range, and range is present support unless and until we have a underscore. So, I'll be showing you in this video all about how to do for a simple way in a simple format. So this is my subcategories which I'll be making inside main category and subcategory. So first of all, I'll be having this as a main category. So these are my main categories. So I'll be doing this from a drop down list to the left column. So this is a left column and the name will be main. So apart from that, now I can do this and uh, from top row. So this is a top row. So it's just like ranking ranges. I will be doing it simultaneously with holding the list and control shift F3 or I can, you can see you can create directly and this will be from the top row only. So once I do this, my ranges has range has been created. So when I whenever I want to check, I can check from each item and the main is here. So now once this has been created, you can check, check from here also. So this is all the ranges and these are its reference sheets. So let's start now the main category. So the main categories, I can go to data validation and giving a list. I'll be hitting F3 column. So this is the main one, it's in M. So when I double click this and do an OK. So I can get the main category. So these are my main categories. So once this is done, now for this banking, I need a subcategory. So what are covered in this should be shown in the subcategory. To do that, to that I will be doing validation again and again a list. And here I will be doing this as is equal to indirect so it's an indirect function and i will be giving this as b3 so b3 and i will be making this into a reference so when i have a drop down i can pull it down and i'll be closing the parenthesis saying okay so now you can see the items are being formed so same way, uh, I'll be moving this as a dropping drop down. Sorry, I'll move this in, in, as a drop down list. And like this, I can select any other form also. So if I want to add diary, so again I'll be doing this in escape, and I'll be having this in a drop down, and this in a drop down. So now you can see the diary items are this kitchen items snacks so this automatically we have a list you can select all the items you can select the medicines you can see so all the lists have been formed so this is a simple form now when you have two or more words now it's an advanced technique so when you have two or more words you get an error so how to resolve this will be in my next video so i hope you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel please give me your comments please hit the like or dislike button and i will be showing you in the next video for advanced so i hope you get this video useful please share this video and the advanced video also thank you very much